Good evening, gentlemen. I apologize for the lateness of this post. Also, it's unpolishedness. I don't particularly feel like editing a video today, so I will maybe cut out a few of the big, mm, I'm thinking, spots. But other than that, there won't be a lot of cuts, which might be an improvement. My jump cuts are still pretty rough right now, and I apologize for that. Still learning how to use i... video. Is it i... iMovie? I'm still learning how to use iMovie. Uh, by the way, Drew, that's the software that I'm using. I'm using it on Amanda's computer because she has a Mac. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. Um, it's intuitive and easy to use, but it's also pretty powerful if you really get into the nitty gritty of all the different options. So this week I wanted to talk about movies and television. A couple of things. One thing that is kind of annoying to me, one thing that I found kind of interesting, starting with the interesting thing. You might have heard the most recent Harry Potter movie broke box office records yet again. And um, it struck me that a lot of movies lately have broken box office records. Twilight breaks bro box office records. It seems like every Star Wars and every Harry Potter movie breaks box office records. Pretty much every decently funded Hollywood movie seems to be breaking box office records, which indicates to me that we need to change the way that we're keeping track of records. Instead of saying, oh, this made more than this did, we need to be saying, this made more than this did than this did. We need to be keeping track of not just whether it gets more than the last big record breaker, but whether it gets more of more than the last record breaker did, if that makes any sense. Um, basically, we need to be keeping track of records in terms of how much it breaks the record by instead of just whether it breaks the record. The other thing I wanted to talk about was something in TV that kind of annoys me, which is the fact that every TV show, in order to accommodate viewers who are only coming in just now, feels the need to catch you up to speed on what's going on, but they want to do it suddenly. But subtly. They don't want to do a last week on CSI Baton Rouge or wherever. They especially want to clarify things like relationships between people up. And so you end up with a lot of people using the phrase, he's my son, in situations where it's not necessary. They force that in. Would you like mayonnaise on that sandwich? He's my son for crying out loud. Yes. You know, they, they kind of shove it in where it's not needed. And it kind of annoys me because it slows the whole thing down and it ends up feeling like they think you're a five-year-old who can't keep track of what's going on in the television show. So that's just a little pet peeve of mine. Now also business. We do need to decide on the name. I'm happily, happy to create the channel, but we need to decide on what it's going to be called. I think I'll include a link down here of just business that it talks about options of what we can uh, name it and you guys can comment on the video or you can send me emails or whatever and we'll decide on a name. Okay, I think that is it. Happy Friends Day in Argentina. If you're in Argentina, which I don't think you are, but if you are, it's Friends Day.